Okay, three, two, one, go. Yes. Oh, his parachute's not opening. Oh, no. Hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. As you know, the Mini 1 and the Mini 2 by DJI, their drones um, are pretty amazing. It did extensive reviews, flight tests, range tests, all kinds of stuff on them. And uh, I wanted to do more, so I got a couple of these drop mechanisms. Now, this will fit the Mini 1 and the Mini 2. I ordered these things from Amazon. And so today's gonna be all about installing these, seeing how they fit. Since the Mini 1 and the Mini 2 have the exact same dimensions, uh, this clamp kind of mechanism for dropping will fit both of them. So anyway, let's unbox these, install them, see how easy or hard it is to install. At the same time, we might as well test how much weight these can carry while we use that uh, remote drop mechanism. And maybe we'll also do kind of a range test on that thing. Thing, since it's different than just using a light from the drone like the other um, drop mechanisms. Anyway, stay tuned and let's get started with installing these and seeing how these things work on the mini series. Let's do it. If you missed the um, installation and tests I did on the Mavic 2 Pro and also the Mavic Air 2, I also did these kind of drop mechanisms. Go ahead and check out the card that'll pop up here. I also have that down there, down below in the description. So you can check out those videos and I also test how much they can carry as well as how those drop mechanisms work. So two separate pieces of paper. One's just for installing the landing gear, useful. Very quick and easy it looks like. And then this one, as you can see, just a quick little card on how to install this clamp drop mechanism. So this should be very simple. And here we go, here it is. So uh, we've got, let's start from the left and work our way down. So this here is a bag with the extending landing gear. Let's open this up real quick and just see what we get. So it's white, not really matching the gray color. Looks like that's gonna lock in pretty good there. And then they are actually collapsing kind of like uh, the ones for the Mavic 2 were. I like that rubber padding and you can see how we can extend them and clip them shut for storing the drone and it's not really making the form factor a lot larger. USB type C cable with that oval there on the right. Uh, this is going to be the, looks like the controller. So let's open this baggie up here. Cool, so it's like a little radio here. We can extend this antenna. That's as far as it goes, that's only about maybe three inches. This is kind of cool. It has like a cover that actually closes the button so you don't actually accidentally hit it. Just two buttons. So on and off. There's a little slot there if you wanted to put a lanyard in or something and tie it around your wrist while you're flying, you can do that. Or just keep it in your pocket, of course. Here it is, the main event, and that is it. Same kind of clamp as the other drop mechanisms I've used and installed before. Just has a little micro servo there. It is attached right here with a little arm here on the servo horn, and we have a couple of little drop pins, so that thing's going to, the arm's going to trigger and then drop whatever we are dropping. A little power switch here. Go ahead and click that down and you can see that light blinking, waiting for it to boot up. A little charge port, that's where we're gonna insert our USB cable to charge it up. A little filler plug on top and that's usually where on the other drop mechanisms there's actually a, um, a sensor port there for that light sensor. But since this one doesn't have a light sensor, Looks like they're keeping that plugged in with this little plug. So we wanna put this thing on the drone. So I've got the Mini 2 here, and let's see how this thing goes on. So as far as what the instructions say, you just wanna kind of face the drone towards you, and then open this clamp up, and all we're doing is putting the clamp on, just like this, over the side of it. There is like a little tab, so it looks like that tab is gonna to need to push right up against um, that same shape of the inside of the craft. So we wanna put it on and then kind of slide it up. So it looks like it is covering one of these open vents here. And flipping it over, just grabbing this clamp thing, this comes over that little hook. So hook to hook and then just boom. And that thing is clamped down there. It does look quite bulky on this craft, so we're gonna see also how much it's cutting down the flight time when we have this up in the air, right? But it's as easy as that. It's already installed. Just one little clamp. Don't have to run any wires. 
Um, there's a little antenna wire here coming down for the remote controller. So this would probably be a good idea to kind of dangle this down um, just if you wanted to get longer range because that is using that, I believe it's a 2.4 gigahertz frequency that this little mechanism is working and communicating with the receiver. So as you can see, putting this thing down on the table, it's actually resting right on the drop mechanism. So that's why we need to put on these extended landing gear. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, if you're just gonna be like launching from your hand or something, you could just clip something on like I did in my last drop test and then just launch like this from your hand carefully and you wouldn't really have to put anything else on. Looks like when you dropped your payload, you could still land it and it's just gonna touch the bottom of this but just to make sure we go through the whole process, I'm gonna go ahead and put these uh, landing gear on. So going to the rear, got our right side here, and we're snapping them in the front side of the arms. So the large portion actually slips right over the elbow joint. Did you see that? I pushed it over, got it on the arm, and then I'm pushing it over, and it's snapping right over that elbow joint. That thing is not going anywhere and it's extended all the way out. Same thing for the other side here, snapping it on, coming all the way over until it just snaps on. And there we go. And then if we wanted to fold the legs up, all you do is go like that. Pretty cool, huh? Take our front arms and these look pretty universal. They fold up, so we're gonna unfold them and click them. And when I say universal, I mean that they should be installing on either one of the front legs just like that. Just give them a little good push and they kind of bottom out so they can't go any further. And so when we put this thing down, check it out. That kind of lifts the whole drone. It looks like about an inch above the table on that little drop mechanism. So at least we are, you know, getting the whole thing off the ground with these extended legs as well. Make sure we turn this on. Wait for that light to stop beeping. And you're up in the air flying. All you do is hit that button, bingo, on and off. All right guys, that's it, as easy as that. Let's go ahead and take this thing outside and we'll do a flight test on both of them. So these two have the exactly same dimensions. So remember, it's the same product that fits the Mini 1 and the Mini 2. So I do have another one in the box over there. I'm gonna install that as well. We're gonna go outside, see uh, each drone, like how much they each can carry. And we'll just see how these things work. Maybe do something cool, like drop a little parachute, like I usually try to do, do some fun stuff. And also it might be kind of cool to see what the range is on this guy, just to see how far this thing can reach and we can drop stuff. That'll be kind of cool. So anyway, I will meet you outside. So let's have some fun. All right guys, here at the park, got everything set up and here we go. So Mini 2 on the right, with the setup here, got the little remote controller there. And here's the Mini 1 with its own setup. I've got some weights here, little weight setup. Probably for this one, I'm just gonna be using the one and two ounce weights. And then of course, I wanna try the infamous spawn parachute drop test. So this will be super fun. Um, let's start with the Mini 1 first. So, you know, I have the thing on, so this thing actually might hinder the compass and all that. So. If that happens, just go ahead and do the calibration wherever you're at. You should probably do this kind of calibration anyway. So, you know, before you fly in like a different area than you're used to or, you know, when it requests it. So we'll do that and then we'll turn it up. Just following the stuff on the screen. I'll have the screen up on my phone too so you guys can see that. It actually went the wrong way, but it took that on the rotation. Just doing kind of a manual start launch. So I just put the controllers down and in, starts the propellers. And let's take off, see how stable this thing is. Got my uh, drone mat over there, but I didn't even use it today. And here's my little flag to show you guys how much uh, the wind is blowing. It's really only about a few miles per hour coming directly from that direction. We'll just look at it and see how it's flying before we do anything. And hey, thanks for tuning in guys. Really appreciate you watching my videos. Again, all this stuff and my links are down in the description where you can get all the stuff I'm testing out. Anyway, uh, it looks like it's doing good. We can see the little red power icon there. Wind's kind of coming up a little bit. You can see that flag blowing a little harder. Maybe about five now. 
I just want to see if it like interferes with any of the controls at all or anything first, right? It does sound like it's it's a little louder with this on because it's already trying to push that a little bit more weight. So yeah, it's flying good. Everything seems A-OK. -okay. So I think that's enough just testing how it's flying. Let's go ahead and put this guy here on. So I'm gonna bring my little open and close controller and I'm going to turn it on is open. So maybe a little tricky, you're gonna have to like either have a helper or somehow finagle this on your controller because you have two separate items, right? So what I want to do is I want to put this thing in and this and then press off while I'm putting this little thing in there. So pressing off. There we go. So it's holding this little wire for our weight. So let me go get some weight. We'll just start with the one ounces. See what happens. So there's one, and looking at the flight time, it went from 15, and it's dropping, you know, 14. And all the time, we're looking at any errors and stuff. If we see anything, put another one. Remember, these are just one ounces. So that's two ounces of weight, and this thing only weighs a couple of grams, the wire. Max power load reached, okay. Fly with caution, you see that up on the top left there? So let's just try to fly that around and see if it'll drop or what it does for a little bit. I'm just flying nice and slow, so you might be like limited to two ounces of uh, bait if you wanna take your your um, fishing bait out there and drop it. Flying good though, letting off the sticks and just kind of watching how it dangles and how the whole thing reacts to it all. I'm gonna push full throttle up, see if it can go up. Yep, still able to go up, but pretty slow. Letting off and it's maintaining there. Let's do a nice spin so you guys can kind of see the horizon there. Also looking at the camera, right? Just to see how steady the camera is with all this weight on there. Seems to be going up. Maybe it's detecting the weight below it a little bit. Everything's great. It's just a little loud. Let's come down. I'm gonna full throttle it and let off and see how much it drops, okay? Full throttle down and letting off. Ooh, 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 ooh. wow, okay. It really didn't like that. And there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, IMU altitude error. That's got to be one of the, uh, like maybe the second time I've crashed this mini. So don't do that. Boy, you want to go down really slow. Let's try that again and I'll go a little slower. I'm going to press on again, take this whole weight thing off. And uh, let's get this thing started back up and flying. Okay, even though it crashed, the IMU error went away. So you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna launch it. I'm not even gonna reboot it or anything. I'm just gonna relaunch it straight from here. We're on the same battery and I'm gonna put this back on it right away and try some more maneuvers and then drop it. Let's try that again. Arms perfectly, no problem. It is still recording. Whew. Took a second for it to kinda figure itself out so if that happens guys if you crash it you really should do all the calibrations again I'm not doing that just because of the time I've got on this battery but I would recommend doing that so you know make sure you recal if you crash or anything there we go so remember two ounces again and max power load reach so i'm not going to put any more weight on it just because if you do you risk it just kind of falling right it's saying we got eight and a half minutes left i'm going to go up again and fly around a bit ooh, ooh, ooh it's coming down oh man did you see that so it really doesn't even like two ounces with this carrier with the mini one remember this is the mini one so man 
Maybe to be safe, just do like a one ounce weight with this kind of setup. That is really not too great. All right, let's just drop it. Now I'm pushing all the way up and it seems like the battery is just really sagging with this mini one lithium ion battery. I'm just gonna drop it from here. So maybe I'll rotate the camera down on the drone so you guys can see how this is looking. Then we'll drop it and uh, then try the Mini 2. Whoa, going down on its own. Woo, it really doesn't like that. I better do this quick. Pushing up and that's how fast it's going up. And let's just do a drop real quick. Okay, three, two, one, drop. No problem. Drop the weight and you can hear the power of the drone. Um, kind of went down a bit, the loudness, because it doesn't have to uh, carry all that weight. So, all right, guys, well, Mini One drop successful, and we really know that this thing cannot barely do two ounces. I'm just gonna land it right here, right on this table here, and then we'll do the Mini Two, and then we'll we'll drop Spawn off of his parachute. Okay guys, same exact test with the Mini 2. Got this thing booted up and same thing. I just wanna make sure that everything is working. By the way, the Mini 1 is fine. It's still working perfectly. It just had some errors when it crashed, but the Minis are really resilient because they have like super flexible propellers. Their arms are flexible. So you're really not gonna break anything unless you're dropping it from hundreds of feet or you maybe smack into something in sport mode. Compass calibration required, okay. So let's do the compass on this bugger too. Calibration and start. So let's try this again with this one. Lifting off, we'll go over to the same spot and just do a little bit of flying. Now remember these lithium polymer batteries that the Mini 2 has, they can output more power, more continuous power. And this whole craft is lighter, right? So flying perfectly fine, not even seeing a, any kind of warning if I'm flying full blast in uh, normal mode. So no warnings on the screen. Let's bring it in here, put on our two ounces, just like we did the other one and see what happens. You gotta press off. Okay. First off, what I'm noticing is Two ounces, no warning, and the drone is quieter than the Mini 1. Remember the Mini 1 had that high-pitched whine? This still has a lower-pitched whine to it, so doing fantastic. Let's fly around like we did with the Mini uh, 1, just for a sec. I might even put one more ounce of weight on it. Letting off, seeing how it copes with that whole thing. Pushing up. Oh yeah, no problem on this one. And no warnings yet. That's great. And pulling down full throttle and letting off. So we got a lot more consistent higher power. Um, these motors are supposed to be a little powerful, more powerful too in the Mini 2. So we're seeing all that, the effects of all that. So this is great. Everything's doing fine. I'm gonna put one more ounce on here. There we go. So three ounces. It's a little louder. Uh, zero problem yet with warnings on the screen. Flying around as normal and I'm gonna let off right here. Boom. Nice and easy coming into a stop. Boy, okay, so the Mini 2 with its lith lithium polymers is doing way better than the Mini, and Mini 1 with its lithium ions. One more ounce, guys, so this is four ounces. Boom, right there, letting off. No warning yet at four ounces? Wow. So here we are seeing the effects of more powerful motors, a lighter drone, and a lithium ion batteries all working in sync. Letting off. Wow, no warnings yet. So that's four ounces of weight. There we go, propellers rotating too fast. So that's what it tells you on this one. But look, it's still flying no problem. 
That's great. I just want to see what happens maybe if I put over... Oh, there is... I do have one more ounce. Thought I only had four. So this is going to be five ounces. It says propellers rotating too fast, but... I can still go up? Hopefully my screen's recording. Yeah, my screen's still recording for you guys to see all these numbers. Going down and letting off. Moving it around. Okay, so this is the one, guys. Don't mess with the Mini 1 if you want to do any kind of remote drop payload stuff. Mini 2 is way better. Look at that. Fantastic. And we're at, you know, we're at 66% battery. Let's just fly around until we get to... You know what? Gosh, I'm just going to put another 2 ounce on here. So we're at 5 ounces. This will bring it up to 7, right? So 7 ounces of weight. Here we go. Boom! It's still doing it with 7 ounces? Oh my gosh. And I can still climb. Wind's kind of picking up. See that? About 5 towards my back. Let's try to fly around a bit. Still recording, check out the camera. I know it's into the sun and it's a little bit um, dark, but let's bring it around so it lights, lightens up a bit. So this is seven ounces of weight for fishing. 57% power and it's just doing fantastic. Take your seven ounces of weight out, drop it, and you can come back. Jeez, okay. Well, that's all the weight I have in my pocket. Uh, I'm going to go get another two ounce. Definitely not going to put any more than this on it. Oh, coming down. It really wanted to go down there when I let off. Yeah, I'm not even going to put another two ounces. I'm not going to bring it up to nine ounces. But that's incredible. This tiny thing with the mechanism, the wire those landing gear and seven ounces of weight and look it's still flying great even though it has that max load propellers rotating too fast probably don't want to do this for a long time because you might damage your motors and we're down to 42 percent power okay and we can still go up so night and day difference between mini one and mini two amazing all right, I'm going to take this thing up a bit. I'm going to bring the camera down so you guys can see the weight on the bottom in the actual Mini 2 camera, and we're going to drop it. It's not even trying to land yet. That's great. It's 37% power. Here we go. I'm going to just press the on button on the remote. Three, two, one, on. Boom. Down. Drone went up a couple feet. You can see it got super quiet. Just phenomenal. Mini 2, 100 times better, 100% better than the Mini 1 for payload. Very, very impressive. We'll go pop a new battery in, guys, and I'm definitely going to be using this to um, drop my spawn on his parachute because that just worked fantastically. I have no doubt he's going to be able to carry my little spawn guy down there. So, land this guy right here. And then the final test is going to be... Actually, one of the finals is going to be... Um, oh, we're getting a beep. Okay, so there you go. 29% and that's what it decided to do. Kind of do an ESC beeping to let you know that... Uh, it was having some problems, I guess. Let's stop video. I want to see if I can arm again. No, cannot arm again. I hope I didn't destroy this drone. Let me power down, power back up. See if it maybe cools down and see, hopefully nothing was damaged. Feeling the motors. Motors aren't even barely warm. Okay, well, no problem there. Let me just take the battery out real quick and feel that bugger. I didn't feel it for the Mini 1, but this is a little hot. Not hot enough to where I can't touch it comfortably. I would say very warm. So let's put this back in. Let me boot this back up, and I'm just hoping I didn't damage anything. Let's let this thing boot back up, reconnect. 
and then I just want to try to launch maybe the ESCs. Well, at least at least it lets you come back and land, even though it's it was. Um, the home point has been updated. Wow. Please check it on the map. Even though it was over power for so long, at least it lets you come back and doesn't drop out of the sky. Can't say that it wouldn't do that for more weight. So don't go over seven ounces. That's for sure. For that amount of time, let's try to arm. No problem. Launching. Just like nothing happened. Flying it around here. Come back, land it, and then let's try to drop our spawn. Woo! Fantastic. Hey, man. Thanks. Just recording a little video right now. What? $75. Well, you can get a pretty cool like toy drone for that. Yeah, I have a tiny drone, but the tiniest one. Yikes. Anyway, guys, I want to try this. I have no doubt it can lift this because it lifted that seven ounces of weight. And this guy, I don't think he's that much. He's, he might be around five ounces or so with all this stuff. So we're going to take him up. We're going to drop him with this drop mechanism. And we're going to see how his parachute opens up and just kind of watch them float down and see how that all that works let's do it all right guys here we go we got the mini two i got spawn here um i got my buddy will that just came Hello. up to check things out and he's going to be my button presser so you ready will yeah. okay we're just at the park here having some fun and i'm just going to kind of hand launch him and hopefully all this works out so let's give it a try so we're recording the drone again let me just do a hand launch and take off here we go Woo! Hey, he can he can hold them up. That's cool. Hey, that's good. Okay, Will, hold on. I'm gonna tell you when, okay? I'm gonna fly like right into the wind. So um just hold on, keep it closed, all right? Okay. Keep it closed. I need to get way over there because the wind's blowing this way. I'm going to tilt the camera down so you guys can see little spawn hanging out there. There he is. I don't see little I'm gonna go up. Okay, let's hope. Hope for the best. Okay, cousin. Still going out. These two drones are about the same size. Right? Yeah, hold on, Will. Get ready. Okay. A match? Not yet. Oh my Whoa. God. Okay. What is that? I'm going to turn around this way so we can kind of see him fall. <laughs> oh, it's going down. It's going down. Is it? Yeah, it was sort of just going down for a second. Is it okay now? It's okay. It's okay. It's going up. Okay, we'll open your um, lock. lock. And I'm going to say three, two, one, and then you're going to press on. You ready? Okay. I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. Yes. Oh, his parachute's not opening. Oh, no. Boom. <laughs> He's right by the road. Man, I should have checked his parachute. I think it was rolled up for too long. Wait, can I see? Shucks. So you see that little side road right there? Yeah. He fell right on the edge of it. So we'll go down there, see if I can, well, you don't have to come, but if, unless you want to. Yeah, I can come. Well, I'm gonna go see if I can, if I can get that guy, okay? And what you can do with this one, see if you just press home. It just flies back. Yeah, it'll just fly back. I think what happened is I had that, um, I had that rubber band and that parachute wrapped up for too long in my garage. And so it kind of like was sticking together. Unsuccessful parachute opening, but um, it was a successful drop at least, right? Do you want to try to fly it real quick, Will? So look, look what I do to the stick. You don't touch this one yet. Just push forward, back, left, right. So and all you up and down. That's up and down, and it turns the head. See how easy that is? Wow. It's very easy. Yeah, so you're just basically letting off when you don't want to do anything, right? Cool. Wow. So I go forward a little more. And now I'll turn the left stick to the left. Or right. There's a right. See how the head turns? Yeah. Cool, huh? <laughs> hey, Will's first time flying a drone? Yeah. All right, man. Uh, actually, not first time. I've flown one of those fighter jet drones 
Yeah. Oh, the small ones? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Um, let's go look for that. I think that's it right over there. Hanging on that fence or that tree. <laughs> and that's what you get for not um, opening a parachute up. That's kind of been sitting for... Boy, it, it's got to have been um, months since I did my last video. See him right here? It just if he had a little more time maybe to unravel it would have been fine you can see what the parachute did is it it kind of opened up but it just couldn't get the air in it because it was kind of sticking to itself so hell no damage no harm done here it looks okay still got all his parts on it the parachutes fine here watch I'll just see that just took that little bit of air to open it up it does work I just should have tested it let it breathe and rolled it back up before we did that test maybe I'll do it again just so we can uh, get that cool video of it floating back down it wasn't open and it was like hanging on a little tree branch like this Weep. it's oh, just the tree saved him well yeah the tree kind of saved him but probably if he would have had like another 10 feet, it would have went like this. Watch, it went whew, and opened up. So you want to try it again? Yeah, let's try it. All right. Okay, Will, here we go. Okay, I'm ready. Stand by, okay? I'm on standby. So I press off. No, on. On is drop when I tell you, okay? So hold on. Gotta go up high enough. Imagine the same tree catches it. <laughs> That'd just be epic. Too. Let's get a camera down. Whoa, there's a truck over there. There is? Yeah, don't want to be above that truck. It... Successfully land on truck. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hatch is open. Remember, it's on. Ready? So when I count to th when I count down, you drop it. Three, two, one, drop. Yes. Yes. There yes. he is. Woohoo. <laughs> uh oh, he's going to go far that way. There it is. Is it going in the tree? All right, it landed in the grass. Woo! Spotted it. You gonna grab it? Okay. All right, Will's gonna grab it, my little partner for the day. <laughs> so there he is down there grabbing it. Yeah. Good job, Will. Fantastic. It's always good to have a helper. <laughs> Man, isn't that thing cool? That's epic. Dude, he did a good job at pressing that button. Yeah. So that was a success because remember the parachute wasn't quite as like sticky and wrapped up. <laughs> so it's good to know in these kind of situations. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to land this guy again and I'm going to do a range test to see how far that button can reach. Like, you know what I mean? Like how far the drone can be out. So, so far guys, um, full success. Had a little hiccup on the first parachute drop test. Now I want to, okay, it seems to do this every time when you have some load on the Mini 2. It seems to kind of go into that overload situation. And then the ESCs are, are beeping until you restart it. So I'm going to find like a little stick or something that's, you know, not too heavy and fly out in the farmland as far as I can go. And just see like if this thing can drop or what the range is on the on this little um, radio transmitter. Let's try that out. So guys, all we're doing is we're using this little um, weed here. Yeah, like daisy. Let's just <laughs> daisies call it. because yeah. when we drop it into the pasture, we don't want to litter, right? So this is just a weed, and Will's gonna be the button presser again. Yeah. I'll tell you when. Ready, set, go. 
Perfect. Okay, perfect. The final test. So is the camera Launching. On. Hmm? Camera on your forehead is rolling? Yep. Everything's rolling. Good. Here we go. As soon as I press. Launching. Woohoo! As soon as I press this button right here, it's going yay. Yeah, so don't press it yet, right? I'm not I want to go way the heck out there, so. We're going to go the infamous into the sun. Here we go. So we're just going to be flying this way. I'm not going to go too high. Until I can't no more. Uh-huh. So here we go, guys. We're going out. Everything's recording. I can choose just the drone. And um, they say this thing can reach about a thousand feet. So we'll go a couple thousand. What? Sure. Are we in your way? Like five yards. Okay, so after this flight, I'm actually going to be yeah, done. Uh, Maybe so about five, so ten. They got to score two goals or something. Before okay. They yeah. Sometimes they move out here. I oh. Well, yeah, Will, don't be throwing that. That's the magic button. That's the missile launch code. So <laughs> don't. Okay, so it's out there. We're at a thousand. <laughs> We're gonna are... test it at two thousand feet. So, oh my God. so come over here. I want you to hold your hand up high. And oh. just a second, hold on. I'm under my temperature. Let's get the camera down. Can you see the flower? Can we see the flower? Oh, I can't see it. Did it fall? There it is. Okay, I just gotta turn the drone a little bit. Um, we're kind of over an area where it's crowded with people. No. There's no houses. Let me move to the right a little bit. Yeah. Where we're just, this is just pasture here. That's fine. Drops at, at someone's doorstep. No, we don't want to do that. <laughs> we don't want to get anywhere close to a house or anything. So this looks pretty good here. So, okay, ready to hold your hand up high so we get the best range. And you're going to be pressing the on button when yeah. I tell you, okay? I want to see it. I want to see it drop. You want to see it? Okay. Three, two, one, press. Did you yep. press the on? Yep. Okay, it's not reaching. Okay, hold on. I'm going to come back now. And we're going to see how close we got to get before you can press it, okay? I don't even see the... I can't even hear it. So we're going to fly a little bit closer. Okay, hand up again. And press on. No? You just pressed it once, right? Yeah. And let off? Okay. I That's not working. Okay, I'm going to come closer. Let's try a thousand feet. Thousand feet. <laughs> okay. We'll try like twelve hundred. Let's go in this little bacon field. Three, two, one, press. No, oh, the range. The range is not very good. I just pressed it once. Press it again? It's no. Let me see real quick. No Let me go a little higher. No I'm going to press on. Here we go. Boom. Yeah, it's still not working. Okay, I'm going to keep coming back. It's basically like a tiny walk to talk you I'm going to keep coming closer. We're testing the range here. I feel like a sort of little dot. Kind of going the wrong way. I want to be coming more towards us. The beast is gone. Let's get over into this field here. So I'm just doing my right roll, getting into this field. There we go. Okay, hand all the way up. Try it again. I want to see it. Nothing. Try press and hold it. Hold your hand up high. Nothing? Oh, there it goes. Oh, it went. Okay. All right, it dropped into that little area over there. This is 965 feet. So yeah, about a thousand feet of range, wouldn't you say? Whoa! So that was pretty cool. Let's bring this bad boy back. Cause I, can see the, cause I saw the driveway that's over there. Yeah. So that was just a little flower. So nobody's um, getting hurt on that one. That's for sure. <laughs> right? Right, Will? Turned out into nobody's in trouble on that one. Cool, so we can expect kind of intermittent range at about a thousand feet, I'd say. That was a little under a thousand. And you had to hold your hand up high and then press it twice, right? Yeah. 
Let's see, let's see where it lands. Watch out, it might land on your head. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, okay. It might land on your head. All right, stopping there. What's it gonna do? Wow, pretty close, man. See, it won't land unless you tell it to land, so that's great. So it got it there and nobody's in danger. And we're just gonna land it manually here. Awesome. So I think that really demonstrates we had 26% power left. Okay. Hey. Any chance we can ask you to move about 20 feet that way? Can you give me like three minutes just sure, to sure. close this up? Yeah, thanks. Don't take that long for us to get ready anyway. All right, thanks. Okay guys, so between the Mavic Mini 1 and the Mavic Mini 2, Definitely, if you're gonna do any kind of payload, do the Mavic Mini 2. As you can see, it carried seven ounces of weight, flew great, and it dropped it. The Mavic Mini 1, remember, didn't do that great. Uh, two, two. Even two ounces of weight, it was having trouble, probably due to the lithium ion battery, and it's just a heavier drone in general. A little bit less power on the motors. These motors on the Mini 2 are a little more powerful. And that was super fun, Will. Thanks for your help, man. Okay. Much mahalos. Maybe I'll see you next Sunday. Maybe. Cool, dude. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget um, links below in the description. Everything I review here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed that. Again, thanks for your help, Will. You're welcome. See you later.